My nephew said my hair hard as a rock, so you know it was doing something for me. Yeah, I ain't got nothing but some onions up under here, but the Ampro got me right. Little, little Ampro, couple of rubber bands. You wanna smell like that? <laughs> like pineapple soda? Definitely give it a try. What's up? Welcome to the channel. It's your girl Kyrie M. If you're new here, please make sure you click on that pretty red subscribe button and help me out. If you don't want to miss any of my beauty, fashion, or lifestyle videos, make sure you turn on that notification bell because I mix this and I mingles and I does a little bit of everything over here, okay? If you ain't know, now you know. Now, today's video is all about Amazon. I am an Amazon affiliate. So when you do shop directly on Amazon and you shop it through my links, it does help me out. It helps support your channel so I can continue to buy little things like this. And you know, learn this stuff ain't cheap, girl. So if you see something that you like in the video, make sure you shop through my links. You can click the links directly in the description box or the cards that will be popping up in the video, okay? Either way, it'll help your girl out. Anyways, let's get to it. Today is Prime Day. I'm recording this on July 12th, July 12th, and July 13th is Amazon Prime Day. This video is probably out today on the 13th. Not sure. I'm trying to push it with the 12th. When you see it is when you're going to get it, okay? But anyways, um, if you're not familiar with Prime Day, it's basically like Black Friday on Amazon where they're just having mad deals now we're not talking about just beauty because you know i'm into the beauty and the skin and you know the fashion all that stuff everything okay all categories on amazon they're having deals for it could be automotive it could be house kitchen appliances it could be you know home decor whatever anything that you shop on amazon for they're having sales and deals so make sure you take advantage on the 12th and the 13th like i said i'm not sure when you're going to see this video but they are going to be hooking us up with all kinds of discounts and stuff like that. So what I'm going to be sharing with you today is going to be some of my Amazon favorites, some things I just hauled and picked up, and some things I just started using. So it's a little bit of everything. We have things from smell goods, things for the nails, things for the skin, makeup products, all kinds of things, hair, all that, okay? So I'm going to be hooking you up. I know it's only mainly ladies up on this channel, so you ladies should love these things. I'm going to break it down into categories so I could kind of keep it organized if you look for something specific you could just bounce right there i will include some time stamps for you okay first and foremost i'm just gonna dip into the beauty side and we're gonna work our way down to the makeup i didn't even know like i did not know that victoria's secret was on amazon now, i know amazon sells like everything but i didn't know like victoria's secret was actually on there but they're on there and they're having some some sales and deals for prime day and I got some stuff, okay? So, these some new things, y'all. These some new some new things for me, at least. I did pick up the Mandarin and Honeysuckle. This is from their Naturals line, their Naturals collection. And it smells so good. It says it's supposed to energize. And y'all, this smell is so vibrant. It's so perfect for summer. It's definitely uplifting. This is one of those smells that you're going to want to put on for the daytime in the summer. I mean, you can put it on whenever you want, but I'm going to wear it in the daytime because it just smells so up and inviting. This is the bomb, y'all. Next, I picked me up another combo and I got teas, okay? So I had to take it back. Y'all know teas is an OG, okay? Teas been out for a minute. Tea smells really nice. For those of you who are not familiar with teas, this one is one of those soft and sexy fragrances, hence the name teas. It is very flirty, but it's also very sultry. Absolutely gorgeous. I love this smell. This might actually rank number two for my favorite Victoria's Secret fragrances. I have a number one. It's been my number one for a very long time. We're going to get into that. But this one is definitely ranking number two. So if you haven't got some yourself some teas, you might want to get it, girl. The teas is from their fine fragrance collection because I totally skipped over that. So this one is Pineapple Slice. And this is from their pink um, collection. Now, you know pink be having like the cute stuff, the fun stuff. And that's exactly what it is. Now, this fragrance is called Pineapple Slice. And Pineapple Slice smells like, believe it or not, like Fanta Pineapple Soda. It smells just like Pineapple Soda, okay? So, if you want to smell like that, <laughs> like Pineapple Soda, 
definitely give it a try giving me tropical tropical vacation somewhere like i'm drinking a little pineapple drink like a pina colada on a beach or something that's the vibes i get with this one i think this is really cute really fun and definitely for like you know if you want to smell cute and fun for like the beach or the pool something like that that's when i will pull this out moving on to my favorite overall scent from bath and body works and that is heavenly i absolutely adore me some heavenly heavenly is like bay okay nothing beats heavenly from victoria's secret this is also from the fine fragrance collection now i got another combo i have the lotion and I have a rollerball perfume because your girl was trying to save some coin. Um, I did have the regular size perfume and it ran out. So I just stuck to the rollerball because I already have the fragrance mist too. So I was like, okay, I got the fragrance mist, re up on a lotion and get a small perfume. That's what I have. But I know I'm going to end up getting the regular one because I like to spritz my stuff. Okay. Rollerball is cool, but I like to spritz it so it can like flow where you want it to flow. But heavenly smells heavenly. Okay. Mm -mm. so you know like some um when you think of refreshing scents a lot of them are like water scents like cool water or cucumber or something like that we're not getting that okay it's still very like daytime and up and fresh but it's very grown like this is just a bomb come on heavenly yeah, Heavenly is the bomb. And I get so many compliments on Heavenly. I feel like Heavenly is one of those fragrances you could wear for the daytime. You could wear it for date night. Like this is a, this fragrance right here is, is made for everything. Yep, it sure is. All right, so we're still in the realm of beauty, but we're going to be moving on to some other things. So magnetic lashes. I, listen, let me say something. So first of all, I think I lost the top pair and I'm currently wearing the pair down here. But these magnetic lashes, first of all, right now on Prime um, Prime Day, it's running for $8. I think I might, might have spent like $15 or something. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs of magnetic lashes. Now, the way it's set up is you get different styles. These right here are two sets of the magnetic liners. You basically line your lids with it and then you put the lashes on it. Um, the lashes come with these like small teeny little strips on it of magnets and it just snaps onto the eyeliner, right? And I absolutely love it. I absolutely adore it because it just makes my job easier. And then of course they give you like the lash applicating tweezers that makes your job so easy. So then I went on Amazon and I found this cute pack and I've been rocking these. I don't have time for the glue and the lashes anymore. Not that it's a bad thing, but it's like you have to put it on. You got to wait till it gets tacky. Then you got to make sure it's sticking exactly when you stick it. And then we take it off sometimes. You take a shower, you wash your face, it still be like glue coming off. I don't got time for that. And I just feel like the magnetic lashes just makes your job so easy. And this specific pack, I love. I love the styles and all that good stuff. Anyways, I'm ranting, so let me move on. So next, I'm going to talk about this brow kit, okay? So I, did, I just did my brows yesterday. I will end insert a video i think i took a video or a picture or something first of all my real brows they're really thin okay they thin but as you can see it's clean from the top to the bottom i use this it came with some tweezers um two sets of tweezers actually they give you the scissors that you know them scissors get you right for them scraggly little pieces and it comes with the little spoolie so i definitely picked this up and i i do recommend it if you're someone who likes to do your brows at home I don't go get my brows waxed. I probably ain't get my brows waxed since I was like 19, to be honest with you. I've been doing my own brows like forever because it's just cheaper and it's, it's easy. It's easy for me at least, okay? I don't got no brows to be waxing like that. But anyways, this is only running for $12, which I feel like is actually pretty, pretty good. It's decent because $12 is not too much. And, um, you know, for it to be kind of low in price, the quality is it's all right. And the scissors are actually cutting. It's not like one of those scissors that don't connect. And you're like, yo, I can't get the hairs to cut because it's not cutting. It ain't connecting. You know what I'm saying? It's good. I actually like this little kit right here. So the first makeup product that I want to bring up is my Sacha Buttercup. Let me bring up my makeup box. So Sacha Buttercup is an OG. Y'all already know about this, okay? Sacha Buttercup is my bae. Now this is running for $17 and that's not bad. That's a deal that they have going on for Prime Day. 
Sacha Buttercup, this this little bottle right here, I think I had it for some months now. And it, it's going to last you some time depending on what you use it for. I use it for setting my highlighted areas. And I just love it because it's easy to use. Um, it doesn't leave me, leave me any blotches, any cakiness. And I love how warm it leaves my face, especially in the summertime. So Sacha Buttercup is a oldie. It's an OG. Y'all wear makeup. Y'all know about it. So a lot of these things I have been going, y'all going to see in this makeup. I've been going back to some OGs because sometimes that's, you just got to leave it where it's at. Okay. All this new stuff coming out. It's cool and all, but sometimes the OGs get you right. And it's just like, let me just go back to what I know. So yeah, Sacha buttercup is definitely one of my favorites she's getting used on every beats i do for my face now i have mentioned buxom to y'all a lot but i think it was mainly for their lip glosses because they have like the lip plumping lip glosses and i do wear their lip glosses a lot if i'm going to be wearing lip gloss but lately i've just been getting my little nude mats on one you know what i'm saying but buxom is a really nice brand y'all if i'm not mistaken they're they're sold in like um like um drugstores and stuff walmart cvs walgreens target stuff like that that's where you could get buxom from but if i'm not mistaken they also have a website anyways this is their extrovert mascara i love this mascara this is the only mascara i love using first of all now i do wear false lashes however i still apply the mascara before i add my lashes just give the lashes something to like not you know, something to hang on to when I'm trying to apply them. And I also add them under my lashes so it could kind of blend. But mainly what I use this for are my bottom lashes, okay? My bottom lashes pop. Let me move up if you could even see it. Can you see focus now? They pop every single time that I wear it. Every time I wear the, this mascara on my bottom lashes, which is every single beat I do, I get so many compliments on it and people ask me which mascara I use is this. First of all, it's nice and thick, which I love. Um, it's easy to apply and it's nice and jet black. Like this is my baby right here. I absolutely love it. It's very, very dramatic. So I love this mascara. I like my lashes at the bottom to pop because without this mascara, it looks like I don't have any bottom lashes, like to be real with you. So this is my stuff. And I think this is running for what? $22 and this one also comes with that subscribe and save option on um Amazon so you know you say you, you do that little subscribe thing you might save a little five percent something like that but that's my stuff okay so this is new okay this is something I picked up part of the haul portion I would say this is Stella all day liquid lipstick I have it in the color Carmelo and that's actually what I'm wearing today mm -hmm. do you see that <laughs> So Carmelo is a nice, it's like a pinkish nude lippy. It's a matte liquid lipstick and I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is definitely becoming one of my everyday lipsticks. This is my second day wearing it. I wore it yesterday and I loved it. So when it applies, when you apply it on, it comes on so, so creamy and then it dries. It dries. And if you want to add a second layer, you could do that, okay? And what I like about it is it does not cake up. It doesn't give you that crunchy, crumbly look. And it doesn't make your lips feel dry. I cannot stand that with a matte lipstick when you put it on and it feel like you just dipped your lips in a bunch of salt. And I ain't got time for it. This stuff is good. Um, and this is only running for $22. And I think for a Stella, that's not bad. Okay, that's not bad. I feel like I definitely got my money's worth. She's definitely going to be your everyday. Y'all know I love new lips. That's mainly what I do is new lips. And she's my everyday lippy now. Okay, so I really took it back to some oldies and some drugstore products. All the makeup that I'm going to be mentioning, I have it on my face today. So the next one is going to be the Maybelline Fit Me. Now, this I'm talking about specifically is their pressed powder, but I have it in the color 355, which is coconut. And what I use this for, y'all, is once I'm finished like doing my face, I use this baby right here and I use it to blend out all of my makeup because one is nice and brown and I feel like the pressed powder gives you some coverage. And then first of all, that's only running for three to six dollars depending on your shade. I double it up with Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder as well. Now, the finishing powder is only $3. Now, I have this in the color D. And the finishing powder is loose powder. And this is basically going to get all the extra little finishings that that didn't get. Basically, just blending in and blurring it out even more. So, like, everything just looks so beautiful and seamless. Like, 
No harsh lines, none of that. And it's cheap. You know, I use my Laura Mercier a lot, but lately I've been loving this. This has been my thing. That little combo right there is the bomb. So try it out, y'all. Try it out. And I also picked up a Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I have this in the color Carmel. And I use this to do my highlight areas with. And I like it. So the creaminess of it almost reminds me of the Juvia's Place concealer. If you guys use that, that's kind of what it reminds me of as far as like the texture and the creaminess of it. I feel like it's fairly easy to blend out and it's easy to work with. The only thing I wish is if it was a little bit bigger, if it came with a little bit more, maybe I'm being greedy. But then again, I only paid $5 for it. So that's not bad. I mean, I could just get two because Honestly, I've been going ham on Juvia's Place concealers and mostly I think it was MAC Studio Finish and that thing was costing like $20 or up, something like that. But this is $5, okay? I get a couple of these for $5. So the last thing that I have on my list for the makeup. Okay, so first I'm gonna put it out here. This is a little bit pricey, y'all. This is gonna run between $21 to $50 depending on the size you get. Now, this is the Laura Mercier Purr, I said purr, like a cat purr, pure canvas primer. And this actually comes with SPF in it, SPF 30. So, you know, that's kind of good. So we got a little sunscreen going on. It's silicone free. But I have been using this stuff, this, and their illuminating version for over a year. These have been like my go-to primers. I've been using it for almost every single look because number one, it just goes on easily. Uh, the makeup sticks to it so nicely. First of all, it's not heavy, so it feels like you just moisturize like you don't have much on once it actually seeps into your skin and like i said the makeup goes on so nicely it doesn't leave me any blotchy makeup and i've had those types of experiences in the past i ain't got time for it girl i really don't this stuff is so so good y'all it's so good it just leaves your makeup looking really flawless and you can start telling so you start adding the foundation you're like dang this is coming out real nice so i love this stuff i keep this in my stash Okay, so first of all, I got a couple of things from a brand called Beatles. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Beatles, but this was my first time trying out Beatles anything. And some of the products are actually having some sales for Amazon Prime Day. So definitely take advantage of it. But this big box right here, this box that you see, this is the tips. It comes with over 500 different tips. They give you like 10 different sizes. My niece was in here playing in it, so she done messed it up. It also comes with like a mini UV lamp to cure your nails. And it also comes with gel nail glue. So first of all, I'm going to just say this. This is a really, really good deal. Considering everything you get, you get so many nails, 500 pieces of nails, like I said, um, 10 different sizes. So you do have the option of making multiple different sets of nails for yourself. What I do like is they do throw in a little UV lamp. It's really small, y'all, the UV lamp. Um, but at least it comes in there and then they give you that gel nail glue. I really just wanted the tips. Everything else was a bonus. I do have a nail video coming out because I've actually used everything in this nail stuff that I'm going to be talking about. And I did one set. A nail video will be coming out soon. But I also did this cute little short set too, y'all. It wasn't, you know, they give you longer tips, but I just cut them and made them short and square. So really, really cute, really easy to work with. When y'all see that nail video, y'all gonna be like, yeah, that's the one. So that is actually running for $25 for the nails the tip set okay I actually prefer to use a regular UV lamp and not the one that comes with it because it's little and this is the one that I got from Amazon like two three years ago and I think I spent like $25 or something like that and I don't see this specific brand still being sold on there but they do have multiple different ones at the same size for the same price. So I would definitely link that below because I do recommend getting you a normal size UV lamp, y'all. It's definitely going to make a difference. So you can put all your fingers in there instead of just one nail at a time. I also picked up from Beatles some gel, mm, some gel polishes. Now this gel polish is called the Goat Tails Collection. I think it's supposed to be like Capricorn or something like that. And you get six different pairs of gel nail polishes. As you can see, they're all mainly like in the nudes and neutrals. 
I'm a neutral news kind of girl. So you get a white, a gray, some grayish kind of nude, and then like pink, pink nude, stuff like that. I keep it very clean, very fresh all the time. You know, I just think it's cute. That's just how I do. I don't know. But I got that, and that cost um, $11.99, which I think is really good. That's really good. $11.99 for six different gel polishes. And I'm going to say this, even though you'll see this when I, when you watch the nail video, but I'm going to say this, those, um, gel polishes are really good. I'm wearing it today. I'm wearing the white one, but not only does it look nice, but it's easy to work with, meaning they're not so thick. Yeah. I ever work with a gel polish is so thick. You like, girl, I can't get it to work. Why these nails ain't focusing? But it was really easy to work with. I didn't have to worry about it being like so thick and clunky or none of that. Like this stuff, is really good and really easy to use so i'm super pleased with it i also bought the gel the b tools gel top coat because the polishes and the nail set neither one of them came with a top coat so i i did get a top coat um nice and shiny nothing too special nothing too crazy well i'm gonna say this it's actually a pretty good top coat because i said nothing too crazy because i did have um I don't know if you guys remember I, when I was on poly gels on my channel, it was from model ones and they had a top coat. The top coat was all right, but I felt like it was one of those top coats. Like it could get dirty. Like, you know, those, it could kind of get dirty. Like if I had white nails, it'd probably be looking dirty already. Sometimes it was doing that. I haven't had this problem with the Beatles top coat. So I think it is a pretty good top coat so far. It leaves your nails nice and shiny. I don't have like no dirt streaks or nothing like that. So we good in that department. Um, and also I want to let you know that these sets, they also don't come with any gel base coat. So you will have to buy your base coat separately. I use my model one's base coat since I already had a base coat. I don't really, you know, I was like, there's no need to buy another base coat. That's all at the bottom. Nobody's going to see that. So yeah, I did get a manicure set because I've been using some old stuff that I have for a long time. It came in this cute little holder. This, I'm, I don't even have everything clipped in. Oh, look, I'm dropping stuff. Let me close it back. But anyways, you get basically everything you need in here to do a manicure, pedicure, whatever you need. The scissors, the clippers, the cuticle cutters, nail filers, tweezers, pushback cuticle thingies. You know what I'm talking about. Toenail clippers. Everything is in this little pouch. And this only cost me, how much I paid for that? I'm looking at my little list here. Oh, $12. That's not bad for $12. I thought that being $12, that some of the stuff was going to be cheap and not cut right. Um, the only thing, I'm going to keep it a buck. The only thing that I have a problem with, I don't know where that thing just fell, is the cuticle cutter because the cuticle cutter is not like the nail clipper where you like cut and it pops back open. Like you cut and you have to manually pop back open. That's the only thing I didn't like, but I'm like for $12, it still works. It still cuts. It's sharp. So be careful. Um, everything in there pretty much works really good. This is also what I picked up y'all. This is one of my favorite things I got. Now don't mind the missing one because my niece was playing in my stuff and she lost one girl. I'm gonna have to find it. I don't know where it is, but this is what I use to make a couple of sets of nails. So basically, um, this is the stand, okay? This is a this is a magnetic thingy majiggy that you would hold your nail onto. It comes with like some tacky play-doh looking stuff that it doesn't dry up. It's more so like one of those um erasers that you get in art class and you know you can keep pulling pieces off look like a piece of gum. Um that's what it is. Basically, you put it on here, you stick the nails to it, and then you style the nail how you choose to do it so you can maneuver it, move it around, put it in a UV lamp, take it out. So this I really like, like I said, um, one is missing because my niece was playing in them, but they give you a set of five because we got five fingers. <laughs> so you can make one set at a time. And I actually do have more of the sticky stuff. They give you quite, they give you a lot of it, but I just, it was no need to put it on because I'm not doing anything right now. And that was actually cheap. This was only $9 and I was shocked. I was like, wait a minute, $9? I'd be so cheap, y'all. I've been wanting to like make tips and stuff like that without actually doing it on my nails, especially because I'm right-handed. And once you get to the right hand, you gotta use the left hand. When the tips are already on, you be messing up the polish. So it was much easier to do the nails on that and then glue them to my fingers. I also picked up some nail stickers, if that's what they call it. It didn't come in this box. I just put it in this box, but um, they call it decal or something like that, right? So it came with a bunch of different styles of stickers and it was only $10. They have different styles and options that you could choose from as well. And I did use some of these for the nail video that you'll see as well. So you'll see more into that once you watch that video. Okay. 
All right, so firstly, I got me this Equal Tools, I say Equal, Equal Tools um, Body Exfoliator Brush. I love this thing, okay? So this is really good for those hard to reach places, AKA your back. So you can scrub your back really nice. But not only that, you can actually just wash your body with it. The bristles are not like super coarse, it's like medium. So it's not going to hurt you or tear through your skin. And I think right now, considering I just got a, um, Y'all see I'm tanned up, but I think I also got sunburn because my skin is starting to peel and stuff on my shoulders. Like <laughs> your girl got like really burnt in the sun. And I think it's really good for exfoliating that dead skin and kind of getting your skin to look nice and refreshed again. So definitely try that out. Um, it's not, it's not expensive. It only costs like $7. So that's not bad at all. The second thing, it's not a thing. It's a bunch of stuff. I love Dove. First of all, Dove is having some prime day deals. So definitely check it out. But, um... I love Dove, so I rack up every time. I got a bunch of Dove stuff. I got the 0% aluminum. You know the aluminum deodorant, y'all? I only tried it once. This is the only one that I have. It's good, and I like how it feels once it settles. When we first sprayed on, it feels like water. It feels like somebody's popping you with water. It doesn't come out like a spray, like how these will come out with just normal sprays. You know what I'm saying? But I like it though. I like it. Um, it's zero percent aluminum. If you just shave your armpits, it does sting a little bit at first. But other than that, it's good. Y'all see me fanning myself. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what time. Let's not act like we ain't here in July. Either I'm gonna be fanning myself, or y'all gonna hear the fan in the background. So y'all gonna get something, okay? I'd rather be sit here fanning myself and looking like I'm hot, cause I am hot. Okay, I'm gonna look like what I am. I'm hot. Um. Also, I picked up this. The Dove Acne Clear Body Cleanser. It smells so, so good. I think it's, what's the, it's a bamboo extract. It smells good. It's nice and refreshing. It smells natural. So if you're somebody into like natural stuff, like that earthy type stuff, definitely try this out. You don't have to have acne to use it. I mean, just use it. <laughs> but I really got it for my back acne because, you know, sometimes I get back acne up in the top area. That's really what I got it for. And then these two things I picked up. Girl, I had this thing for a little minute and I haven't tried either one and I wish I did. But anyways, I have the Moisture Boost Pre-Cleanse Shower Butter. This one has hyaluronic serum and um, Morgonia oil. And this is from their Body Love Collection. So was the acne wash that I showed you. This smells amazing. It, it just, it's like a classic Dove fragrance. It's not something too crazy as far as the fragrance goes. And then we have the Exfoliating Body Polish. And this one has pomegranate seeds and shea butter. And I haven't used this either. I think I'm going to use it today. And this smells, now this smells nice, okay? You can see the seeds up in there. Oh, man. Y'all going to keep seeing my face. I'm trying to show you guys stuff. But this stuff smells so, so good. So I am excited to try both of these. All right. So the next thing is going to be my Dr. Till's body moisturizing or moisturizing bath and body oil. This stuff is the bomb, okay? First of all, Hubby put me on because he went to Walmart one day and he picked up two other fragrances and it smelled so good, but I wanted to try something else. Now, this stuff is basically something that you can use in the shower. They do have the like details and stuff in the back. You can pour it in your bath if you want to. You can use it while you're in the shower and moisturize. When you come out, your skin be moisturized, be feeling so good, so soft. It be smelling mad good. So you don't have to moisturize after that if you don't want to. But you know, I do. I personally been using it after my showers only because I feel like it does leave a little bit of oil residue in the shower. And I ain't got time for that. I don't want to be slipping and sliding every time I get in the shower. But this stuff smells so good. This is the Dr. Tails Moisturizing Body Oil. And um, this fragrance is Shea Butter. So, 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 so good. If you haven't tried this out, y'all, try it out. Like I said, they have mad different fragrances. Definitely try it out. It leaves your skin so soft. But since it's the summertime, sometimes I like my skin to glow a little bit outside. So I would use that. I would definitely use that when I want my skin to just be like all shining and looking all good and moisturizing, glowy. That's my stuff right there. That stuff moisturizes so good. So the next thing on the list is this tea tree oil that I got from Gia or Gaia Labs. Now this tea tree oil is an essential oil. And you know essential oils could be strong for some. They do say dilute if you want to all that stuff, but I don't. 
I got this for my face. I don't know if you guys noticed, but I got mad bumps on my face lately. First of all, last month I had mad bumps because I had a breakout because I was taking progesterone. Y'all know I'm on my TTC journey. That's a whole nother story. That thing broke me out. But then once I stopped taking it this month, my face was getting all right. But once I got back into that sun, the same time I got tan and sunburn and stuff, I noticed all these bumps on my face. So I think I have heat rash or something. Um, So I did bust that out last night and I did use it, but I normally use that tea tree oil if I'm having really bad breakouts because I feel like it's really good on inflammation it kind of handles your breakouts good it clears that skin real nice and most importantly not it's not importantly but I love stuff that smells good it smells so good so natural so refreshing so that stuff is good you can actually use it to mix it in like an oil and if you have like a diffuser in your house you can burn it you know, yeah, I get my point. The stuff is really good. It has multi uses. You could use it in your hair. You could use it on your skin. You could use it to brighten up the house as far as fragrance goes. So tea tree oil is definitely an essential. And if you haven't tried it, definitely check it out. And that's only running for seven dollars, y'all. So that's not bad. Um, well, actually six dollars. It says it's running for six dollars. The Dr. Tails oil is running for seven dollars. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Sound good to me. But let's move on to some Burt's Bees, okay? So Burt's Bees is having Prime Day deals. Y'all see I'm squinting. Y'all know I wear glasses. I ain't got my glasses on. So I've been really into Burt's Bees items, products lately because I feel like it's not, I like natural things lately. I like, if it's natural and it's going to help me do the same thing as something to do that's not natural, then I'm going to try the natural. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, this face moisturizer, as you can see, I like bodied this, like it's almost done. So I have this moisturizer cream from them. This only cost me like $12. I use this at night. It's supposed to have like a natural agent that's similar to retinol in it. So that's really good. Um... Cool has been cool with me. Keeps my face moisturized. A little bit goes a long way. And I ain't got no problems. These two I picked up. Um, I have the Natural Acne Solutions Purifying Gel Cleanser and the Daily Scrub. And both of these are running for $7, which is not bad. The smell isn't all that. It, it don't really smell like anything crazy. Yo, it what's the smell? Because it do remind me of something. It smelled like... <laughs> <laughs> do y'all remember when we was young kids and we had barbie dolls and our mamas probably relaxed their hair so they had like all those extra small bottles of shampoo from the relaxers and the little closet and you were gonna wash the barbie doll hair with it it smelled like those shampoos i don't they don't really smell like that nowadays but that's what it smelled like that type of shampoo the face cream actually has a nice pleasant smell just something real natural about it so i like that I also have the calming toner with witch hazel and rose. It says it's alcohol free. Now this stuff I've been using lately because I want to try something else from them, but it's okay. It's okay. I actually prefer using their acne solutions one because I got acne. I feel like that one is all right for somebody with acne. But if you have acne, you might just want to just get all the stuff in the natural acne solutions, if that makes sense. I don't know. Um, I feel like sometimes it be burning <laughs> in my eye area. Y'all know I keep it a buck. Like, you know, if I just took off makeup with a makeup wipe and stuff. But I, you, you're supposed to be gentle on the eyes. But I'd be like, dang, kind of burn my eye area. Or like if I shave my mustache or something, it burns. And it's weird because it says calming toner, but it's not that calming. But then again, that's like almost all toners if I, um, if I shave my mustache. We're not going to get into that, okay? That's a whole nother story. That's a whole nother story. So, moving on into Palmer's. So, I have not tried this out yet. This is Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula Skin Therapy Face Oil. It says it's supposed to... It has a rose hip fragrance. It's supposed to help fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots, uneven skin, aging skin with retinol, vitamin C, um, cetosomate E complex. I don't know what that means. I probably said that all kinds of messed up. But... This is that, and I love Palmas. I haven't really tried any Palmas like face products. I did try their skin fade cream for the face, but I wasn't consistent enough to really tell you how it worked. And I still have some, to be honest with you. So I can't really say how it worked, but this I'm definitely going to be using. So first of all, it's super hot outside. It's the summertime. I do wear my wigs. Prefer short on super hot days. I will wear long if I'm going for a look. I ain't going to sit here and lie. I ain't going to hold you, okay? It's the darn truth. But 
Ponytails is definitely my wave when it's hot outside. As you see, I got my little double bun in. I had this in for like a week. Okay, like a week. It ain't looking that fresh. It ain't look like it's drooping. It's falling. But guess what? After this video, I'm taking it out anyway. So don't be mad. Um, <laughs> had it in for a little minute. But I did pick up some ponytails. So I am going to be reviewing and trying out some ponytails on this channel because it's hot outside. So come on, pony. All of these ponytails are ranging between like $9 to $20. Um, but I'll get into more details on that when I do the hair video. I don't want to make this too long talking about the hair. But yeah, like I said, $10 to $20. Separate video coming for that. But I did pick up a Lulu Ponty called DD from Sensation Now. So you can be expecting a video for this soon. You can see how it looks on her. It's really, really, really cute. Uh-huh. So I am excited to try that out. I actually saw my girl Aya all day wear this. And I think she put hers in two ponytails. And it was mad cute. I was like, girl, I'm about to get that. Try that. See what's working with. So I do have that. I also picked up this Bohemian Fro in a 1B. Now, you know, get a little something for the natural. You know, a little natural out there. Now, my hair is relaxed, but I am a black girl. So, I can still get away with it with relaxed hair. You know why? Because sometimes, even if you got natural hair, the way you slick that ponytail, it might look slick like a relaxer and then puffy on the pony. And you know what I'm talking about. So, either way, I'll be good when you, you know, I'm black. So, it's going to work either way. I'm a brown girl. I'm a brown girl. So, yeah, this one is really, really cute. I feel like I saw some people wearing it, and it looked better on them than it does on this stock car. You know, sometimes these stock cars we have, you question it. I also picked up this one is what I'm really excited about. I picked up from Outre this salon-style pony wrap in the style springy afro in 1B. Now, listen, she is giving. Do you see how that looks on her? I have some ideas, y'all. I have some ideas that I want to do with this one. I think this one's going to be really, really cute. This one's going to be cute. I already know. I think that's going to be my favorite one. I also picked up a bang yang. A bang yang. Yes, your girl picked up a bang piece. I think this bang was probably like $9 or something. But I plan to do that with the Lulu one. That long one that I said Aya was wearing. We'll see. We don't know. We'll figure it out when we get to that video. But that is all I picked up as far as the ponytails go. But I did pick up some OGs. What my OG? What my what my hair gel? Let me go get it. Whew. All right. So I took it back to my good old days. Like I said, sometimes you just got to take it back. When you take it back, everything be better. Now, I know nowadays in 2022, everybody's up on the good old, what you call it? Got to be goo gels and all that stuff because it's like super strong hole and all that stuff. But listen, listen, when it comes to these ponytails, you want to do a ponytail. You don't want it flaking. You don't want it white. Even though those things stick, they ain't brown. So it's going to have you looking a little white when we get a little old. You know what I'm talking about. I'll take it back and got my Ampro style gel. And I think I got the super hold, okay? And it kept my little hair nice and ready to go. My nephew said my hair hard as a rock. So you know it was doing something for me. So I did do my ponytails with the Ampro. And I like Ampro because number one, it smells good. Mm. I used to use this as a teenager, girl. This is all I used to use for my ponytails. And number two is brown, okay? So if you have brown hair, this Ampro gel is going to blend with your hair. So when it does start getting old, it'll be more brown if it's going to start crusting instead of white like those other gels. So I do like my Ampro. I feel like it always does good with ponytails. It used to back in the day, so I got it again. And it made my ponytails work. And y'all know my hair short because I went bald last summer. Y'all remember? My hair ain't but that long, okay? I got little onions up under these ponytails. When I do those ponytail videos, you're going to see I ain't got nothing but some onions up under here. But the Ampro got me right. Little, little Ampro, a couple of rubber bands, couple, couple of bobby pins. I picked up some bobby pins too, okay? Came in this little cute thing from goodies. And I do prefer bobby pins for ponytails and stuff because it clamps to each other. You know, hair pins is like like long use they don't clamp on each other so it's kind of hard to get it to like hold something but bobby pins yeah girl anyways the ampro gel the ampro style gel was five dollars and the bobby pins is like four dollars okay so that's cool and then i also picked up this y'all topic now this is a hair building fiber i have it in the color black it's for full hair it says full hair instantly so people who have thinning edges like me you know I got some thinning edges. You got some hair thinning somewhere. It could be for men's hair, women's hair. doesn't matter. This is what that is. It's supposed to give you an instantly fuller look. So basically what it does is it attaches to your hair 
and kind of builds on it to look like your real hair, but it's like hair fibers is made out of keratin, if I'm not mistaken. I did try it after I already had my ponytail nice and sleek and on, but I feel like I have to apply it a little bit differently. I feel like you should apply that before you finish setting your ponytail completely, if that makes sense, because it's like, it's just sitting on top of your hair. That's not shiny, it's like normal hair. And then you know how the gel is once you mold it down and all that stuff is shiny. So it was like two different textures or shines, I should say. So I'm definitely gonna try that out when I do my other ponytails so we can see what is really hitting for. Okay, so this last thing is not a product, but it's a service that they have. So I've mentioned the Amazon Try Before You Buy Before when I did my spring slash summer dress haul. Now, if you're not familiar with the Try Before You Buy, let me tell you something, sis. This is like one of the best features that they have on there, um, especially if you're into their fashion. So I'm gonna say this, it's basically like a dressing room without having to leave your house. Um, so the way it works is you get up to a certain amount of items. I think it's like six items or maybe a max of like $600, whichever you hit first of ordering from your tribe before you buy. They send it to your house. Once you receive all your items, your trial begins. You get to try on all of your items. Whatever you don't want, they do give you a return label. You send it back and you're not charged. They don't charge you unless you decide to keep the items. So even when you place the order, it will be $0 charged to your card. You get what I'm saying? So it's not bad at all. I absolutely love the Amazon Try Before You Buy. I've done it for dresses. I did it for multiple pieces of clothing. Um, because when you're trying to shop on Amazon, I mean, where I'm gonna try it on that? So I do like that feature. I don't wanna pay for something and wait for my refund. I do prefer to just get it and then if I want it, I'll pay. If I don't want it, I don't ha have to worry about money ever leaving my accounts. And recently, while we're on that topic, I literally tried out nine different strapless bras from them, from the Amazon Try Before You Brow. Three different orders. One order, three sets. Another order, three sets. Because I'm trying to find a good strapless bra for these summer outfits. You know, in the summer outfit, we got a lot of halted tops. You know, we got the spaghetti straps. If you got big boobs, you you probably want to wear a bra, but you don't want your straps out. So I am still on the look for a new strapless bra. I do have one that I've been rocking for like two years faithfully, but um, it's like a wrap for that is beat up and I couldn't find it in my size again. I'm gonna have to search again and see whatever. But if I decide to do another Amazon try before you buy for some bras, I will definitely film that process so I can kind of help y'all out and see which bras was nice. Cause it was some pros and cons. Some of them was fitting nice, but it wasn't seamless. You could kind of see the design under your clothes and who wants that, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, stuff like that, you know what I'm saying. All right, so that is it for today's video. I know it's probably long, but I did have a lot of things to show y'all or whatever. This was actually fun. I love doing these types of videos. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section. Or if you just prefer just straight reviews, let me know. You like these types of hauls, faves, or you just want to see reviews? Let me know so I can know what you like so I can keep it coming whichever way you like it. You feel me? Again, remember that I am an affiliate of Amazon. All of the links will be linked in the description box for everything that you've seen in this video. Um, it'll probably be just one link that'll take it to my storefront that'll just have everything that I mentioned in today's video on there to be honest with you to make it easier so you don't have to click one link at a time so that's probably what I'll do I think that just makes more sense or like I said you could click the card up here in the video because it'll be in both places either way I hope you find yourself some good deals I hope you find something you like I hope this was fun but I'll see you in another video so until then I will holla because it's hot and I need to turn that fan back on so I'll see you later bye <laughs>